And we're back at Anderson Motor Speedway. Roby Helm with you, along with Doug Rice and Buddy Parrott with our expert commentary. We're getting set now for the running of the Winn-Dixie 100 for the Hooters Cup late models. These are late model automobiles. They weigh about 2,800 pounds with 9 to 1 compression ratio, 358 cubic inch engines. This will be race 10 of 20 in the 1995 season for the Hooters Cup late models. And looking at the point standings coming into this event, Mike Garvey out of Stockbridge, Georgia is on top with 418 points. In the second spot is Daryl Shelnut out of Hialeah, Florida with 352 points. The third spot will be Mario Goslett out of Lake Wales, Florida with 340. In the fourth spot, Daniel Keene out of Tampa, Florida with 335. Fifth is Dick Anderson out of Wildwood, Florida with 333. In sixth spot, it'll be John Crow out of Harrisburg, North Carolina, one of the Rookie of the Year candidates. He has 330 points. Seventh will be Bobby Gill, who won last time out for the Hooters Cup Late Models at Five Flags Speedway in Pensacola, Florida. He has 300 points. In the eighth spot, Steve Christian, another rookie from Sugar Hill, Georgia with 257. Ronnie Sanders, the veteran out of Fayetteville, Georgia, is ninth in the Hooters Cup point standings with 254 points. And tenth will be Jimmy Cope in car number 15 out of St. Petersburg, Florida with 250 points. So those are your top ten in the Hooters Cup point standings. And we are going to go down to Fred Pump in the pit area. We're standing here, we're sitting here actually with John Crow getting ready to go out on the racetrack for the Winn-Dixie 100 for the Hooters Cup Series. John currently leading the rookie standings for the Hooters Cup Series. We'll be starting six outside row number three. Not a bad place to start, John. I think the inside will be a little better, but uh, six will be right on the outside. I think the outside group will be looking good, so we're looking forward to it. Any strategy for this event, John? Get to the front would be nice, but trying to survive at this track, you know, being as, uh, as tight and small as it is, you know, you want to try to survive. There he is, John Crow, currently leading the rookie point standings in the Hooters Cup Series. We'll send it back up to the booth. John Crow will be starting ninth tonight. We had qualifications a little bit earlier, in fact, yesterday. And we are going to explain how they qualified and give you the starting lineup right after we come back after this break. Stay with us. We're getting set for the Winn-Dixie 100 at Anderson Motor Speedway for the Hooters Cup Late Models. Welcome back to Anderson Motor Speedway. Roby Helm, Doug Rice, and Buddy Pair with you as we get set for the start of the Winn-Dixie 100. Race number 10 of 20 in the 1995 season for the Hooters Cup Late Models. We've given you the point standings. Now let's quickly go through the qualifying procedure that these cars went through. They qualified yesterday afternoon, and there you see the starting lineup. And the drivers, the top 10 drivers, drew for their starting spots. So our pole sitter, Mike Garvey, in car number 91, he qualified seventh fastest, but with the draw, will start on the pole position. Mario Goslin, car number 10, he'll start on the outside of row number one. He qualified fourth fastest. Bobby Gill starts on the inside of row two in car number 71, and Bobby was the second fastest qualifier. Starting on the outside of row two, a guy that had a good draw, Russell Bearden, who was the 10th fastest qualifier, he will start on the outside of the second row. In the third row, on the inside, in car number five, Dick Anderson, who was also the fifth fastest qualifier with the Dodge, car number 92. Starting in the outside of row number three, the young driver we just talked to, the top rookie of the year candidate, he qualified ninth, but will start sixth, John Crow out of Harrisburg, North Carolina, in car number 38. Moving to the fourth row, on the inside, in car number seven, is Daryl Sheldon, who is the fast qualifier. So he reached in after drawing the fast qualification time. He drew in the seventh starting spot, starting on the outside of row four. In car number 15, it'll be Jimmy Cope. He also qualified in the eighth spot. Row number five, on the inside, it'll be the veteran Ronnie Sanders out of Fayetteville, Georgia. He qualified six fastest. On the outside of row five, a second generation driver that's good to see out here, Marty Lindley, son of the late great Butch Lindley out of Greenville, South Carolina. And Marty qualified a strong third quick yesterday. And of course, Marty Lindley, as he pointed out, the son of the late Butch Lindley, starting 11th tonight, David Smith from Williamson, South Carolina. Going off 12th, it's Mike Love from Brazelton, Georgia, 13th starter.
Joe Manning, Forestdale, Alabama. The 14th spot to Larry Raines from Cumming, Georgia. 15th tonight, Randy Fox, Fort Myers, Florida. Mark, Mike, uh, Daniel Keene from Tampa, Florida will go off 16th. And Daniel is uh, well up in the points race right now. He rests currently fourth in the Hooters Cup points. 17th starter tonight, Mike Harmon. And 18th will be Mike Cox. 19th, Jeff Burkett from Lake Mary, Florida. And 20th, Steve Christian from Sugar Hill, Georgia. And Steve currently eighth in the Hooters Cup points. Another Hooters Cup rookie, Nevin Jenkins out of Homosassa, Florida. In car number three will start 21st, going 22nd on the grid. In car number 99 out of Flowery Ranch, Georgia, it'll be Vince Whitmire. The defending champion of the Hooters Formula Cup making his first start in a late model, Anthony Lazaro out of Ackworth, Georgia. will be driving car number 44 this evening, going 24th in the 1R automobile from Pensacola. It'll be Tracy Goodson. In the 25th starting spot in car number 61, it'll be Larry Thompson out of Milledgeville, Georgia. And 26 will be the zero car of Chuck Walls. Marilyn McCrary, another driver out of the Hooters Formula Cup circuit, also making her, her first start in the late model competition out of Payne City, Florida. She'll be driving car number 51 and starting 27. Starting 28th, it'll be Donnie Bishop in car number 84 out of Greenville, South Carolina. And a six-time national late model champion, Jody Ridley out of Chatsworth, Georgia, will go 29th in car number 98 as they missed qualifying yesterday. They put a new Ford Ernie Elliott power plant in that car, and Jody Ridley will go 29th. Now, Buddy Parrott had it figured out. What did he say he had to pass a car every three laps if he was going to win? I think he said two and a half laps. So I'm going to keep an eye on him, guys, and uh, I'll keep you posted on how he does. And the final three tonight, Derek Gilchrist from Raleigh, North Carolina. Don Davis, Jr. out of Gainesville, Georgia. From Cornelia, Georgia, it's Greg McCoy in car 116. And that's 32 cars strong for race number 10 on this year's Hooters Cup circuit. And we'll be back for the start of the Winn-Dixie 100 right after these messages. 